soft fish tanks videos for a fish tank and uh, today we're basically going to show you how to um, test for ammonia with the sulfur test kit and the thing you need to know first is that the, the materials that we use in this test kit um, are very dangerous to animals um, because you've got a little kitten here um, and uh, it, they um, especially this um, the NA3 um, a little bottle thingy. This is very dangerous. It can cause um, eye irritation, um, um, some bad stuff with your skin. It is irritating and harmful, it says. Um, it contains 2% of NaOH and 0.1% of HG2CI2 and HG2I2. So you gotta watch out. That is some pretty harmful so stuff as long as I know. And we're gonna we're gonna put this guy out of the way because else he's going to get harmed. So let's do that. All right. So on the instructions it says that you should, um, you know, get some um, your test syringe right here and get some water from your tank. And you need to take two milliliters out. Um, even though I just used um, a little um, turkey turkey baster thingy because I love these things. <laughs> so we're going to use this. On Oh god damn it! We're going to put two milliliters in here, and uh, how much is in this one? I don't know. I hope there sure is enough, because if there isn't, I gotta get some more. All right, I got it in here. So we got two milliliters of tank water, salt water. Um, then you need to, with the one milliliter syringe that you see right here, you're going to use this one to take out some NH3. So let's do that. Make sure you don't get this close to your eyes, nose, mouth, um, fingers. This is often why I use gloves when I do this. There's poisonous things in there that you don't know about, and bacteria that are harmful, and chemicals that are harmful. So you gotta think about that. Um, and also corals that can sting you, especially you know when you gotta reef tank. So and with the one milliliter syringe, you need to add 0 0.5 milliliters of this down to the bo bottle. And what usually people do when they get these is that they add the five milliliters. Meanwhile, they are you know by drop by drop um, shaking this one. But you don't need to do that. You can just put it in like this. And you're going to get just as accurate readings. This one is maybe in the red um, as you would um, before. So it is down at exactly 0 0.5 milliliters. Um, you don't want to be shaking it like this. You want to gently swirl it around like this because if you just do it the other way, you're going to get more inaccurate readings, which is not a good thing. Um, but you just do this, and you want to do it for 30 seconds. Usually, I just shake it a little bit more than that because it doesn't hurt. Just like that. And what you want to do now is that you want to add the rest of these milliliters into the bottle. And then you want to be shaking it for about 10 to 15 seconds. So let's do that. Put this down there, just like that. Cross it up again. Excellent. Let's shake it around. All right. So now you gotta wait a little bit. But meanwhile, we're waiting. And I want to talk to you guys about some things that you need to remember. Now, when you are testing these things here multiple times, you need to think about that um, you have to. Um, you know, you have to clean this this test vial um, before you use it again. Um, this way, you make sure that there's nothing of this left over in it. Because if you just get a half milliliter of this extra in the water that you don't need, you're going to get very inaccurate readings. Seriously, guys, you gotta you gotta focus on this. So, you know, so I I. I've added the, the stuff here, and uh, after I've done this test, I will of course be cleaning the glass so it's ready for the next um, round, you know, my test file. So, it says to wait about 3 minutes or so, but I found out that 2 minutes is actually enough, but you can wait 3 minutes if you want to be completely sure. Then you use this one you have to get with it. You hold it like this, and as long as I can see, it is at 0 0.25. And my ammonia has always been like this, but my nitrates are pretty high, so the cycle is happening fast. And so yeah, that is pretty easy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so see you guys in another video.